Hey everybody, it's Mike here. Welcome to the channel. Well, if you missed out on my previous videos, uh, I've been reviewing a number of 3D connection space mouses. And uh, today we're looking at the Enterprise model, the top of the line. Um, also uh, quite pricey, but nevertheless a very, very impressive uh, piece of kit, right? Now, I did a number of reviews so far. I reviewed the Space Mouse uh, Wireless. I did that last week. I reviewed the Space Mouse Pro Wireless. I did that a couple of months ago. And like I said, today we're looking at the Enterprise, right? Now, if you don't know what a Space Mouse is, it is basically uh, um, something that you use in addition to your mouse that allows you to freely navigate in 3D software like Maya, ZBrush, 3D Code, and so forth but also uh, uh, CAD programs, right? And I would say in the CAD industry, a lot of people use this, okay? Now, uh, the idea of today is to go through the functionality of this guy, but in case you missed the previous models, I want to do a quick rundown of the lineup so you have a better idea, if you want to get one, which one is most suitable for you, right? So let's quickly do that. So we're gonna go to the website here and we're gonna start on the right hand side here where it says Space Mouse Compact, okay? Now that's this guy. It's basically the main knob of the mouse uh, is wired and it has two buttons, one on each side that you can assign a function to, right? Uh, actually a couple of functions. Uh, you push on a button, you get a menu with uh, four options. You can pick uh, from that and so on, right? Okay, so this is the wired version. Uh, they recently came out with a wireless version. That's the one I reviewed last week, which is this guy, Bluetooth edition. And I absolutely love that thing, um, especially because on occasion I like to work on my laptop uh, remote, and then I can uh, continue to use my space mouse without having to bring this along, right? So I love that. Okay, what else? We have the Space Mouse Pro. Now, I reviewed that one, like I said, a couple of months ago. This is the wired version. Here you have four buttons. You can see three and four here. Four buttons on the top and that you can assign functions to. On the left-hand side, you got buttons like uh, Alt and Shift and Control and that kind of thing. And on the right-hand side, you got buttons that will allow you to flip your 3D model, uh, jump to top view, jump to side view, and so forth, right? And then, of course, the main control knob. Now this is the wireless, the wired version. We have the wireless version. That's the one I reviewed a couple of months ago. And then of course we have the enterprise model, which is this guy, this guy right here. Okay, a lot going on. And before I dive in to uh, all the buttons and displays and whatnot, um, the idea here is this: the more functionality you get, the question rises: is that functionality that I need? Okay. Now this is at a price point of 482 bucks, including uh, VAT. And uh, yeah, it's up to you, of course, right? So what I wanna do is jump into Maya, and as we do that, I'll kind of explain what's what, right? All right, so we're in Maya, let's start with the main knob, right? So if I just twist this to the left, you'll see the model rotating, and I'll try and do it so you can see it, left, right. I can flip this around if I want. If I want it to go faster, I can just hold it like this. And I can even control that by uh, configuring the speed if I like. Move to the left, move to the right, back, forward, and so forth. It's kind of like a joystick, right? And it works very intuitively. I would say the learning curve on that is a minute, right? Okay, what else? So on the top here, we have 12 buttons. And each button has a function assigned to it in Maya. I don't know if you can read that or not, but on the top of the display here, it says Maya, right? So that's because we're in Maya. Now, for example, there's a button here that says extrude. So if I select the face on my model, and let's use this guy, right? Let's say uh, this right here, and I click on the button extrude, the extrude menu opens, right? And then I can choose the thickness and so forth. So you can do that. But the cool thing is, if I switch applications, let's say I jump to my desktop, right? So um, I'm just gonna open up my browser here, right? As Soon as I do that, now I got Chrome right there. And I got 12 different um, functions that I can all customize. Now, talking about customization, if I open up the app for the mouse, this guy, 
and I select Space Mesh Enterprise because I have multiple. Here you can see the speed. I can change the speed of that knob as I just mentioned, right? But I can go to buttons. When you go to buttons, you see all the buttons on this device. On the left hand side, we got these guys, uh, sorry, these guys, 12. So we've got 12 buttons. These are the 12 buttons on top. I can go in here and I can select any of these and say, I want an application uh, linked to that button, or I want a keyboard function linked to that button and so forth, right? So these are the top 12 buttons. The ones on in the middle here, escape, tab, shift, control, alt, these are these buttons. Now you can change these, but I wouldn't recommend it because it literally says on the buttons, escape, control, and so forth. So why would you, right? There, there's plenty of real estate to configure. And then on the right hand side, we have all these other buttons and they can all be customized, but I'll show you um, what they can do in Maya, right? So we're gonna close that. We're gonna jump back into Maya and I can uh, move this around. Let's go, yeah, there you go. And I really don't want that thing sticking out. There you have it. Let's go to object mode. Yeah, okay, cool. So we can flip this around. Now let's say it's in this position and I want the model to roll over. I can push on this button right here. There you go. I can push this button and I'll get my top view. I can push this button and it will jump to my front view. It will jump to my right view and there you have it, right? So the name of the game here is workflow and saving time. That's kind of the idea behind this, as far as I'm concerned anyway, right? Um, if you are gonna use all of the buttons, then you will um, incorporate that into your workflow. And as you do so, you will get faster and faster because instead of going back and forth to your keyboard, you've got everything under control with your left hand, right? Now, the claim is apparently that you can save up to 40% in your workflow. I don't know if that's true, I haven't measured it, but uh, I can imagine that it makes a difference, right? Now, I use a combination of this guy, the Space Mouse Pro, and the smaller one for the simple reason that I have them, right? But what model you would choose, that's of course up to you and up to your workflow, right? Now, I do have experience with all of them, so if you have any questions that you want to know before you get one of these, feel free to ask me and I'll help you if I can, all right? Just let you know, um, I'm not paid by 3D Connection. I'm not making money off of anything that you buy from them. So just to get that out there, right? So yeah, um, yeah, that's it, I would say pretty much. So um, if you have any questions, let me know. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next one, all right? Thanks for watching, bye.